Now, one of the biggest stories that trended this week completely and utterly warmed my heart. See, I think that these are the true celebrities. I think that these are the people who truly need to be celebrated every single day. Daniel Moda, who's my guest, um, uh, really surprised me when I read his story. He is a tout and he did something that a lot of us might not do if we were in the same situation. He found money and a matatu and then he gave it back. Not that he didn't need it, but because it's the right thing to do. Daniel, Niadre? Salama sana. Eh manzi, nilichukia story nikasema, yani msa alifanya hivyo. Karibu sana kwa show. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Thank you so much for um, joining us uh, at this time. So, ebu tuchapi story. So, wo lukwa, where exactly do you work? Mathri naitwa? Naitwa Fayal Magi. Mm, Fayal Magi is part yeah. of which circle? Ganaki Sako. Okay, umefanya umewekwa tout for how long? Nakuwa tout for six years. Okay. Yeah. So it was just another day at work. Yeah, it was just another day. So ni amene ni kafanika. Okay, yasiku tuko na fanya tu kazi kama kawaida. Ongea odi bliki dogo tu. Okay, tuko na fanya tu kazi kama kawaida. Mhm. Then that Friday morning, nakuwa na bagashi. Mhm. And stage tu na kuanga pa fire station. Mhm. So vinye mifika pa fire station na shukisha wa abiria. Uh -huh. Kukwa kuna drizzle. Uh -huh. Then unajua kawaida wa abiria ufungwa madrisha. Uh -huh. So nikasema wacha ni kafungi hizi madrisha. Uh -huh. Juhu viti zangu zisilo wa maji. Mwenye sawa tu wamesha shuka? Wa, wa shuka. So mbibati solo kwa gari? Yeah. Okay sawa. So vinye nikuwa nafunga madrisha in the process. Kitia nyuma. Kapata wallet. Uh -huh. ya, nikafungua kuangalia documents and the details probably na za jomo nyewe mm -hmm. and uh, nikapata wallet corroded sana ilikuwa na do kwa na do ilikuwa na how much kwa na 30k 30k yeah skodi moja ni umeka how much za mbili kwa siku kwa siku azim yani kwa siku moja sasa sio skodi moja mna mix za mbili na mnafanya ngaka skodi ngapi pa day skodi 6 ka 6 yeah okay so that's 12 that's 12 na hiyo si yako ya yeah. mwenye ndai a a sasa ya mwenye ndai na kuanga 7000 alafu nyi mgawani wengine tunakunywa mafuta yenye inabaki sasa uh. taringana na bidi yenu sawa na driver mm. yeah ndio so are you on a salary yeah so, no 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 not, no hiyo ni Kenya mna mix up a day yeah so pale tutasema na making how much as my income amount yes. so to make 900 yeah a thousand if the day is good Yeah. Yeah. Na ukapata 30k. Ukapata 30k. Daniel. And the interesting bit is so kuna watu uko na mtu mmoja lakini wife ana expect ndio. Kwanza na watu. Ako kwa watu. Wase wote ni wase wa wapi wagashie? Wagashie. Wase wagashie mambo ebo ebo tu mie salamu wame ni adre. Lion Barry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and and wife Rusi. Yeah. My boss Francis yeah. Kamau and the kids. Yeah. Yeah my uncle Steve Mora. Yeah. He has been a good guy to me. Yeah. yeah. So they're all watching they're and your all wife watching. is expecting your second baby. Yeah. Ako how far along? Say ako how many months? Okay, ako uh, let me say she's due early June. Early June. Yeah. Na ukimpeleka hosi unajua lazima kuko na kitu kwa mfuko. And I don't think uvenye umeenda ukaangalia hosi ni how much hivi ndo deliver? Sentimili zuwa wana change. That's where she goes for a clinic. Yeah. Like when you are now wana change. Maybe 25,000. 25,000? Yeah. Yenye hauna? Yenye siku wana. Na ukapata 30,000? Na badala ujieke kwa sabu na mekingi so tisa pa day. Hii 30,000 for you to make it. For you to make 30,000 a day. You have to work for. How long is that? That's quite a long time. Yeah. Uka decide pesa uweke. Na urudishi yu mse. Yeah. So ukafanya nini ukaipeleka kwa sako? Sindio? Okay. Actually what I did mm. nienda ni kalipot kwa sako. Mhm. Mm Kamwambia nikamwambia the guy who was in charge nimepata warrant kwa gari. Mhm. Mm na nimeamua kuileta of which CG mwenyewe but aki in case akikuja mhm. Nimwambia ni nipigieni simu cause ile pesa ni siku siku iru, siku irudisha kwa wallet mm. ni chukua ile pesa mm -hmm. nikaweka 300 mm. kwa wallet mm -hmm. sasa hata mimi ningependa kujua ujamaa ametupa 30000 mm. so after two days mm -hmm. mzee akakuja 
okay, it's obvious. Ganaki sako once you metupa any anything kwa gari. Ukikuja okay, kwa you you unaenda kwa office. So kamba kwa akaenda kwa office na akapewa wallet yake. Mm. But kasema ile pesa ilikuwa hapa there is less than 29700. Kamba now what you do? Call and utafute yule jamaa. Mm. So they called me. Mm -hmm. And luckily I was kwa stage pale fire station. Uh -huh. Ujamaa mzee bado akakuja. Oh, alikuwa mzee. Alikuwa uh -huh. mzee. Akakuja. Akaniambia uh -huh. sasa akanichapia story uh -huh. pesa venye alitupa wallet kwa gari yeah. na pesa ilikuwa ya matumizi gani. Yeah. So akanichapia akaniambia pesa ilikuwa ya mtoi. Uh -huh. Alikuwa anaenda mtoi hospitali. Uh -huh. Kamwambia ina shida. So uh, ile in the process akaniambia sasa ile pesa napata kwa wallet iko less. So ningependa tu nirudishe nikamwambia nipe hiyo 300. Mhm. Mm Kanipea 300 na mimi nikampea 30,000. Sasa kwa mshangao na shindo ujamaa ntams. So huko mpata 27 hiyo 29,700 ulipea 30. Thati. Kwa sababu tatu ilikuwa ni yako. Eh, so tatu ilikuwa ni yangu. What? Umtu alishtukaje? Alishangaa sana. Oh my gosh. Mm, alishangaa. Daniel, hii pesa unahitaji, si ndio? And I understand in fact unataka kurudi shule. Yeah. Na umekosa 30,000. Unataka kufanya course gani? Kwa IT. IT. Yeah. Na unataka kurudi shule ujisaidie na usaidie familia yako. Yeah. Na 30,000 ingekulipia fees. Okay, ingefika ingefika cause prospectors inasema pa same. Mm. Tunalipa 35k. Yeah. Yeah. But so, at least ingesaidia yao sababu. Ingesaidia yeah. Na ukairudisha. Uliambia wife Siku msho unajua naweza kutia. Ah, maze mimi ningechocha. Ningechocha. Where did this come from? Have you always been like this? Umekuwa tu ukirudisha yeah, watu vitu? Yeah, okay. Yeah, nimekuwa nikirudisha simu. Mm. Ya yeah, mtu amesahau bag yake. Yeah. So, narudisha tu. Na no, umse aliku, alikupati alikurudisha do kidogo. Ama okay, alikuwa anashangaa sasa 30,000 na ipeleka hosi. Nitamtoa nitampea nini? Mm -hmm. So in the process nikamwambia Oh yeah, alikuwa anaipeleka hospitali. Yeah, alikuwa okay. anaendea mtoto wa hospitali. Uh -huh. So nikamwambia fanya hivi, wewe uko kwa barabara, mimi niko kwa barabara. Eh. Uh -huh. Wenda utoe ushughulikie mtoi, uh -huh. tutaona na tusiku nyingine au oh sijali. And that was the end of the story. What? Yeah, kaenda na mimi nikabaki tu. And you didn't expect anything in return? I never expected. Uliambia wa say story. Okay, kwa ofisi sasa yule jamaa alienda kwanza alimwadvise aende kwa ofisi, alienda mm -hmm. kamwambia that guy amenishangaza sana. Oh Amenirudishia pesa yangu yote. Yeah. Yeah. Mwanzo amenishangaza sana. Mwanzo amenishangaza sana and I think this is the inspiration that I'm talking about. Unajua so ndo celebo kweli kwa sababu msa kifanya kitu kai manze this is what we need to do and I know you need money now for all of the things that I've said and you want well wishes to come out and, and help you out sio? Yeah. Mwanzo tumsaidieni. Uko na namba yenyewe auto unaweza katuma pesa? Mm, yes simu yes, yeah. namba yote tu yeah. uh -huh. 0725 Ebungo japia mimi nataka kukudungia kwa Kiru man kwa sababu ulirudisha hiyo do so mimi nataka kukutumia ile pesa yenye niko nayo hapa kwa hiyo pesa yangu tu sasa hii yani umeni touch umegusa I'm so happy we need to have more people like this in the world aya 0725 0725 170 170 250 yeah. sawa okay wow you give back that money yeah All right. So I'm going to let me see what I do have. I'm going to send you that money. Thank you so much Daniel. Yondo namba yangu sasa uko nayo. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. May God bless you. you. I hope more and more people can do this. I'm going to support him. And I will say this live on air that you said it it's going to be 25,000 for your wife to yeah. deliver at St Mary's. No. I would like to thank Nalobi Hospital okay. they granted me a free Oh they have delivery. I was going to pay Yeah they are, they are going to give me a free delivery at their hospital oh, Nalobi wow. Hospital Yeah so thank you very much the doctors of Nalobi Hospital Oh wow yeah. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to contribute to your first sem mm. so that you can go out there and you can make a better living and you can provide for your family yeah. and if you want to join me please do we are going to um, post his uh, number once again thank you so much Daniel Mora give back 30000 that could have gone a long way in helping him and his family and he wasn't selfish and he gave back that money and every single day we see a lot of negativity and we see a lot of bad things that we keep talking about and we're blamed as the media that we only talk about the bad things so hopefully these are the good stories and these are the 
the positive stories that we can start sharing and talking about kwa sababu wa sika Daniel and wako wengi and if you know someone like that please do let us know at the trend live is how you can get a hold of us the hashtag is hey amina thank you so much Daniel thank all right so now we're going to be going over to Anne to hear what people are saying on social media Anne yeah are you just as surprised as I am Ati are you just as surprised as I am um um I have been shocked <laughs> but that guy did a very good job yeah that was so commendable that was so good of him we don't know what would have happened but anyway Kelvin Rudy here says the only safe conductor in Kenya in Kenyan roads I wish he could be a mentor to Jogo Road Makangas especially for Buru and Kayole we have another one from John Africa who says awesome thing to do Daniel and good things to do hearts touching hearts kindness is good you will be blessed hashtag hey Amina another one here from prison who says this this is this is how blessings come this guy though and then another one from Eddie says God bless this guy abundantly for his honesty and integrity James here says the story of Daniel is an inspire is an inspiring one honesty is a virtue and men who possess such are blessed Kenyans should emulate him super proud another one from Edu here who says uh, this is from the meme challenge says Kemboi Higari Haikimbi naona tumwagi tisel kwa him good to one account it's a kibia that's all we have for you amina